Hey, what's groovy? So Engway have sent this, this awesome e-bike to review. It's the Engway Pro 2.0, 750 watt, 52 volts, 1200 watt peak, 75 newton high torque foldable e-bike. And let's test it out, shall we? Firstly, we need to just mention how well packaged the bike was. Everything was well wrapped in foam and secured with cable ties. It was nice and snug in there and we cannot fault it for that. On the other hand, the manual was pretty useless. It didn't really explain anything at all. So we kind of just had to figure out ourselves. They send you all the tools that you need to get the job done, although they are pretty basic, but that's to be expected. So if you're not in a rush, they'll get you free fine. I feel like this job could have been a lot quicker with a better manual and better tools, but never mind, we got there in the end. This Engway 2.0 Pro is an absolute beast. I mean, just you've only just got to look at her, really. You've got front light here, you've got your back light, and it comes with brake lights so people can see you braking. Solid bike rack, 25 kilos max. I mean, you're not going to put anything more on than that. It comes in three different colours. You've got the green, obviously the blue, and black. I like all the colours, to be honest. I don't really have a favourite. I just think they all look absolutely mean. So the other features on here that I love is that screen. I mean, it's just placed perfectly in the centre. As you can see, all the dials are lovely and big. Everything's to hand. You've got your throttle here. That's to go up and down on generating your power for pedal assist. You've got your gears. You've got down and then up at the front. Everything is literally just there to touch. Can't fault it for that. And it's so comfy to ride, especially having everything just there. With me on the bike, I can get up to 45 kilometers. I mean, it's not much of me. And I'm so grateful to be able to stop it so quick with these lovely brake discs we've got all round. And they are very responsive. Another great thing about this bike is the quick release handlebars and seat, which makes it great for sharing. The average height is 5'2 to 6'8, so a big range there to suit all people. We're now going to take the Engway 2.0 Pro out for its test on a nice dusty dirt track, get them tyres going. Oh, going down a proper dusty track, these tyres have got so much grip and traction and this suspension is just amazing. I'm going all over these bumps and I can hardly feel it, it's just so soft. And the throttle, straight on response, I'm literally going down these tracks so quick. This is so fun. The brakes, they work. They are so responsive on dust. Like I didn't even get any skid. Okay, let's go. Tell you what, it does not take long to get up to speed with this torque sensor. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bit heavy with the brakes, they're very sensitive. We've been testing this bike out for a few weeks now, mainly because we've been waiting for our helmet to arrive. Got to love UK Post. But we can't find any real reason or fault on why we should not like this bike. It's so comfortable, it's quick, these tyres handle when going through all this dirt and rough ground. It's just insanely fun and we are enjoying this bike so much. These bikes are so fun. All they do is bring a smile to your face. And it's handling all of this dirt lovely. And the other good thing as well with the suspension on these bikes, depending on the terrain you're going on, you can make them softer, harder. You can even turn the suspension off so it's just solid all round. I like to have it fairly soft just because we go on rugged terrain.
you can lock it off so the suspension is off and you can obviously turn it on so your suspension is on and then on this side you can you can adjust like the sensitivity I guess so make it firmer make it even softer so if you're on really rough terrain you might want to make it softer to help take out those lumps and bumps We want to test out its capability on the wet long grass. The torque sensor doesn't struggle to pull you up the mounds at all. We decided to lock the suspension off across the grass mounds and it handled with no problem. And I tell you what, that seat is so comfy. Of course we had to take the bike to the beach. When going through the dry sand, the back wanted to snake a bit, although when we dropped the speed, the bike corrected with ease. Thank goodness for those fat tyres. When riding on the wet sand, we noticed a huge difference in traction. No matter the speed, it just felt so stable. Like us, um, we may know it's quite juicy. Guys, I think that's a pretty decent amount of mileage on a full battery. I'm now currently in pedal assist on five, number five, and these torque sensors are great. As soon as you just push, they're off, it kicks in so quick, it's so responsive. And there's, there's hardly any sound really, you can hear a bit of the motor, but other than that, it's very very quiet bike. You get a little bit of wear off the tyres on the road, but nothing much, I quite like it. This is a pedal assist. It's just flying along, absolutely flying along. It's got eight gears, and every time you just, it's just so smooth, there's no noise from it, other than just the click of the lever. You don't hear the dralia swapping over, it's just so smooth and down it's just as smooth The manual doesn't explain how to fold this thing, so it's a little trial and error. You just have to use its own weight to your advantage, but you soon get the swing of it. As you can see, once it's folded, it is pretty compact. The handlebars fold with it, the pedals fold with it, which makes it a lot easier to fit in those small spaces. So you're probably wondering, is this bike practical for van life? Me personally, it's just a little bit too big. It weighs 31.6 kilos, I believe, in total, so it makes it impossible for me to get it on the bike rack. Once folded, it is too wide to get in the habitation door, which is a real shame. But if you had a larger vehicle with a nice big garage, then I think this bike would be perfect for you, especially if you like going off-road and exploring, then you will love this bike. To be honest, the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that I can't take it on the road with me. It's 
thing flies 45 kilometers an hour I love this bike I just wish it would fit in the motorhome Thank you. There's Harley, she's overtaken us. There's Harley, there she is. Take the horn. We also love that the battery just slides out quick and easy. For me, it would be great to take to coffee shops and charge with the EcoFlow, thanks for those coffees by the way, or you can just lock your bike up and charge it in your van, which is awesome. We absolutely love this bike, it's so comfortable, this seat is absolutely comfy with all this foam, it's built to last, it's so sturdy, strong, look at these welds on here. Nice. We wish we had another Engue bike to compare it to, but as first impressions using one, we absolutely love it and the quality is brilliant. If you know of another bike that is more appropriate to van life, a bit more compact, then please let us know in the comments. We would love to see it and test that one out too. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay groovy. Bye! Bye. <laughs>